Good morning, everyone. We have some uh, wind today. <clears throat> I um uh, been watching a lot of things this morning on YouTube, from church to um how to make things, crafts to listening to people talk about impending war <clears throat> to thinking about what the powers that be want to do to us October 4th is right around the corner happy October by the way and happy Sunday to you um, I'm trying to gather my thoughts. I have so much I want to say. So I'm not sure how long this is going to be. But, um, I was watching somebody earlier who is pretending like it's the first day after SHTF. He's actually living his prep. And he's figuring out what he would do. For those of you that are forward thinking, and you know what that means, I suggest you test out your preps too. I suggest you learn as many new skills as possible. I suggest you learn first aid and CPR. It's not hard. <clears throat> I highly suggest you have a first aid kit with whatever you think you need in it. I suggest you learn how to make food from scratch, not just box and pantry and already made stuff. For you younger people, watch my videos. And go watch everybody else's videos and learn how to make natural home remedies. We are not going to be able to go to the store and get aspirin soon or a bandage. Yeah, lots of people are already having a very hard time just getting the regular medicine that they need to live from pharmacies. Some people have had to call three, four, five, seven pharmacies and even go over to other counties just to get the medicine they need. So if you're hooked to a machine, make sure you've got battery backup. Make sure you have a clean water source, whatever that looks like for you. Look around your house. Check your surroundings. Can you do anything else to make sure that your home is more secure within your budget? Yeah. You need to start changing the way you think about things. You really do. Because they're taking us in that way they're forcing us to have to deal with these situations that are coming up and we don't fully know what's coming we don't fully know what they have planned for us we don't we can take a guess some of us can take an educated guess but it's still a guess so as much as possible as much as possible. Do what you can to prepare to survive. Yeah. I shouldn't even have to tell you to grow your own food if you can. You should already be doing that. You should know your neighbors. You should know escape routes in your area 
<clears throat> you should know extra resources in your area. Where else could you go to get water? I know. And I'm not telling anybody. Where else can you go to get food in your area without robbing other people? Without robbing stores? Stay on the good side of things. Don't go robbing people. If you didn't take the time to prepare, that's your fault. And we're not going to uh, dip into our food because you didn't think. I I'm being honest. I'm being honest. If you have pew pews, make sure you have enough ammunition. I don't think you would, could ever have enough ammunition, but you know what I mean. If you have knives, mm -hmm. sharpen them. Do what you need to do to protect you and your own. Because it's coming. The entire world is preparing for war. And the United States is not. If you guys could see my eyes, yeah, you'd know my reaction. What? What do you mean we're not preparing? Oh, that goes along with them allowing everyone and their brother just to walk across our border and being provided for. America is shit now. Yep. And that's the um, perception that they're putting out. We don't care anymore. The United States government doesn't care anymore. Go ahead. We're all just a bunch of corrupt people and we're just going to let people give us money and we're going to give you favors and we're going to let Bill Gates buy whatever the hell he wants because he's an unelected official who has the most money and apparently money is what makes everything move. Yep. Has anybody heard Klaus Schwab's name in the news lately? I haven't. How about Noah Harari? That gay second-hand right man of Klaus Schwab's who is groomed for his position. Yep. We don't know what they have planned. We don't know what's going to happen. What we can do now is absolutely prepared for everything that they think they're going to do to us. Um, there's been a lot about Israel in the news recently in a lot of places. As a Christian, I love my Jewish family. As a Christian, I love Israel. As a human, I love the Jewish people and Israel. While I am commanded to, I also do it on my own anyway. Because guess what? Jesus was a Jew. And I'll say it again. Jesus was a Jew. And more of you people out there need Jesus, who was the Jew, who lived on this earth as God's son. I will never go against Israel. I won't go against the Jewish people either. They're God's people. And God has taken care of them all of their lives, including now. Now, are there people in Israel who have bad intentions? I can honestly tell you, I don't know. I've never been there. I don't know anybody from there. And I'm not going to pretend or presume or put thoughts into your head as to whether that's real or not. I don't know. 
And I'll tell you something else. I don't talk about things I don't know about because I don't want to look like a fool. Yeah. Did you know that in the Bible, calling someone a fool is the worst insult ever? Did you, did you know that? I'm not kidding. It's the worst insult ever. So I don't talk about things that I don't know about. Because I will not be labeled a fool. Yep. Not going to happen. When I do talk about things, <clears throat> it means I research them. I've discovered them. I've figured them out. So yeah, those are my thoughts for this morning and the day. I'm probably not going to talk about too many more people on my live streams. Not because I've been warned, but because I'm sick of it. I'm not going to get into any of that. I was going to talk about that, but I'm not going to now. I'm absolutely done. <sighs> I'm just tired of some people on YouTube and I wish they would go away. Yeah. I really do. You guys take care. Thanks for listening to my thoughts this morning. Have a great day. <laughs>